the next five segments, or chapters of this video, I'll present my own solo guitar adaptations of five of the many pop and rock Capo Crusader song arrangements I've crafted over the years, which serve as effective standalone solo guitar accompaniments to a vocalist, which can either be me or someone else. So they're meant to be accompaniments and not instrumental chord melody style arrangements. Be sure to check out the Capo Crusader lesson feature that appears in the October 2020 issue of Guitar World for more information about them, including illustrations of the most basic chord shapes I use. First up in this Capo Crusader series is my original guitar arrangement of the classic Eagles ballad Desperado, which I play with my Kaiser Low Tension Quick Change Capo deployed at the fifth fret. I'll play the whole arrangement first, then break it down for you. Desperado, why don't you come to your senses? You've been out riding fences for so long now. You're a hard one, but I know that you've got your reasons. These things that are pleasing you can hurt you somehow. Try the queen of diamonds, boy She'll beat you if she's able You know the queen of hearts Is always your best bet Now it seems to me some fine things Have been laid upon your table But you only want the ones You can't get Desperate Some people talking Your prison is walking through This world all alone Your feet get caught in the winter time The sky won't snow and the sun won't shine It's hard to tell the night time from the day Alright, so as you heard, I devised an elegantly graceful way, I think, to adapt this song's signature piano intro, which was originally performed by Glenn Fry, by the way. And I adapted the guitar by playing it as if it were in the key of D, and capoing the strings at the fifth fret, which transposes everything up a perfect fourth to the song's original concert key of G. And here are the chord voicings I used for the song's intro and first verse. So for the intro, I'm playing this open D chord with a little hammer-on embellishment. Reaching up there to what would be the fifth fret away from the capo. It's actually the tenth fret because of, because of the capo. Okay, that's D13 with a hammer-on, a decorative melodic embellishment. 
nice slide, and then G. That's G minor six. And then I had to kind of adapt the melody a little bit. To go down to B minor seven. E nine. I did a hammer on there. And then kind of drew out this A7 sus4. So with the exception of that D13 chord, all the chords are played down in first and second position relative to the capo. Except for there's a B minor and an F sharp minor chord, which come a little later. But I'll tell you, due to the capo, those are easier to form, those shapes. The capo, you know, as I mentioned in the other segment, it lowers the action effectively. So I decided to make a couple of strategic alterations to the piano melody in the intro to accommodate that B5 voicing. And for the verse part, you know, we have this Why don't you come to your senses? Okay, it's this D, C over D, G, G minor, and then we go, even now riding fences. D to B minor seventh, which you can think of as D with a B bass note, and E7 to A7. For so long now, you're hard one, but I know that you've got your reasons. Okay, same chord so far. Now there's a little walk down here, D over A. These things that are pleasing you can hurt you somehow. Okay, so we have an ascending bass line here. D over A, F sharp over A sharp, a little bit of a stretch there, and then you go to B minor seven, either like this. These things that are pleasing you. And then easy E7 and A7 chords. Can hurt you somehow. That's A over C sharp, like a transition chord, doing like a little walk down, down to the chorus. Now you can either play straight B minor and F sharp minor here. Don't you know the queen of diamonds, boy? Should beat you if she's able. See, I did a little uh, D chord with a C sharp passing tone in the bass note. You know the queen of hearts is always your best friend. Sometimes I just go to B minor seven instead of B minor. It seems to me some fine things. That's F sharp minor seven. All the strings are barred at the second fret, except the A string is not used. To me, that has a little more of a jazzy feel, you know. To me, the fine things have been made upon your table, but you only want the ones you can get. And then from there, we go back to A7. Okay, we're into the second verse. It's almost the same as the first verse. A couple of different chord changes. There's a couple of like walk-ups from the D to the G. So it goes like this. Desperado, oh you ain't getting no younger. G, D over F sharp, A7 over E. Your pain and your hunger. D, and I think it's just a straight F sharp over C sharp. Or you could do F sharp seven over C sharp. Your pain and your hunger to B minor, and then E7 to A7. I'm driving you home and freedom, oh freedom. Well, that's just some people talking with the walk down again. Your prison's walking. Notice that distance between the vocal melody. Your prison. Walking, it gets resolved in the B minor chord. Through this world, E7 to A7 again, all alone. Over C sharp. Now we're in the second chorus, which is uh, pretty much identical to the first chorus. So I'm going to go to the, use the minor seven chords here. Don't you think it cold in the winter time? The sky will snow and the sun will shine. It's hard to tell the night time. Nice 
minor 7 to A7 sus4. Last verse. Desperado. Here's a cool walk up. C over E. D9 over F sharp. So I'm going D. Desperado. Why don't you come to your senses? And now from your fences, and open the gate. And maybe rain it but there's a rainbow above you. Here's a big finish. It's got three different tags on it, all harmonized differently. You better let somebody love you. Let somebody Doing. Let somebody. There's that F sharp over A sharp again to B minor seven. Love you. And hold on A7 sus4. Before it's too late. Intro. and gentle.